guys. Trey coming back at your screen by means of the World Wide Web. And today for you guys, we're just going to get into the newest quest region in the latest server update for Brave Frontier. So we got the Selgrad region, we got the Soaring Tree Tower, and we got the mission It's called Tested Power. An entirely different enemy than any of the ones the fallen heroes before you ever faced is expecting you at the top of the tower. Shoo sui awaits. So let's go rank this fool real quick. Um, let's see here. Very interesting story. Um, this is the squad I used. I'll show you guys everything. I don't know about y'all, but this is one of my favorite units in the game right now, boy. That Max Anima Griel so clutch. Clutchy, clutchy, clutch. But this is the squad I use. Um, show you guys all the spheres and whatnot. I hardly change spheres on my units. Um, that's why I try to make sure I have like a ton of good spheres because I, I don't really care to every time I go pick a unit I need to go snatch a sphere off another unit. I hate that. I like to just have put a sphere on my unit and keep it on them. And then you guys can see what my friend got here as well. Busting out with the leg one gym, nothing too hype. Alright, so let's get into it guys. Um, the first time I did this uh, boss quest for the cell grad region I I, I, uh, I auto battled it so uh, we'll see if we can do that again I was able to just straight up wreck it crew ran right through it no problem so uh, see if we can pull it off again show you guys some of the uh, battles in the region you guys will be able to see the ultimate boss battle things like that all right um, I hope a lot of you guys have quested this far because uh, you go, you you actually gonna want to be pretty far along in quest mode here, guys. Because uh, I showed you in my mini server update, but that uh, that new sphere that they got, that cell grad gym, that thing is beast. That's a really nice sphere, and the materials, a majority of them anyway, you have to form them right here in the cell grad region, guys. So uh, make sure you quest along far enough, get into the cell grad region, so you can start farming some of these materials, um, and and also. That cell, that cell grad gym. Um, in the future, you're gonna need it to expand or to create even better spheres in the future, guys. So if you can, um, form the heck out of it. Um, you need soul creator, lunar creators. So make sure you make some of those, and then the rest of the materials you gotta, um, you can get here in the cell grad region, especially those hexacolor stones. So uh, definitely make sure, guys, do some farming up in here. Well worth the effort. Um, as soon as I start farming, I haven't yet. Um, I've been doing other things, um, grand quests and all that type of stuff, um, leveling DB for units. But soon enough here, I'm going to get a uh, real, real focused on doing some farming here. So uh, I'm planning to have a ton of those cell grad gems. Um, at least I'm, I'm guessing at least like seven, eight, maybe even ten of them. I'm planning to make quite a bit of them. So. Uh, Hopefully we'll be able to get it done. Not too much of a hassle. Probably gonna have to put up like a Zell Knight lead or something like that. So we can be the ultimate farming squad. But uh that's the plan here soon. Um also guys, I know it's been quite a while. Um one thing I'm actually planning to start doing real soon is to get back into uh uploading some some console gameplay all right I know I haven't done that in a while so uh, be on the lookout definitely planning to do some console gameplay I actually got a pretty good game that a couple of you may already know about that I just recently purchased so I'm just trying to play it get acquired to it get better at it and then we're gonna do some uh, console games all right but Anyways, that's off topic. Let's get back on to Brave Frontier. Let me just break down my squad and why I use this squad for auto battle, all right? Um, of course, uh, my girl Brielle, no explanation needed there. Um, definitely hands down one of the best leader skills in the game right now. Nullify status ailments, 30% boost to HP to max HP, and increase the BC and HC drop rate. Very useful leader skill, guys. I, I really love her leader skill <laughs> a lot. It's really nice. Um, but she also comes in handy with that attack down with her SBB, most definitely useful, alright? 
Um, big homie Gra, the main reason we're using him because uh, the boss of this area is not light or dark type. So his leader skill won't really come in too, too handy. All right, and also um, him having the ability to paint with light and dark isn't really gonna come in too handy either. Um, the boss of this region is actually of the fire element. So, uh, and you notice here, I didn't bring a single water element, but it's okay. Um, guy isn't really that tough, all right? But uh, Grab, we mainly using him because he recovered BB gauge over time with his SBB for three turns, all right? So that's the main reason for old Grab, besides him being just a straight up tough, bad to the bone unit. Um, that's the main reason we're using him. All right, Kakuri, the main reason we're using her, SBB, of course, with the ability to give you BB gauge on attack. Um, this squad is not going to OTK this boss, all right? So uh, that comes in handy for certain. Um, Aaron, definitely mitigation. Um, that's always his main purpose. You're using Aaron, you're using him to mitigate. That's the purpose, all right? So uh, he also gives BB gauge as well with his BB and his SBB in addition to mitigation. So he's really good. Hands down, my favorite mitigator right now. Um, Fever Friend to help keep our BB gauges up. All right, she her leader skill increased that BC drop rate. Um, so we're mainly using Fever for that. And then last but not least, my boy Balgrand, the, the surprise of the squad, if you will. Um, I really like Balgrand, man. I'm so glad I pulled him. I really like Balgrand. Um, his SBB is nice. He uh, he does an attack. All right. In addition to doing the attack, he paints your entire squad with the ability to deal any status ailment. Poison, curse, injury, weak, whatever. He paints the squad with the ability to inflict that status ailment. But even in addition to that already OP-ness, right, the guy converts your attack, a percentage of your attack, into boosting your whole squad's defense. And that does stack with Aaron's already 80% defense increase with his SBB. So Balgrand, ah, really liking this guy. Really liking him. I like him a lot. So uh, definitely useful in my opinion. Um, I even like his leader skill. The only sad thing about it is it won't find much use because there are better options for leaders than his. But I do like his leader skill. Um, he could give you, I think you, I think you get 30% boost to defense. But if you guard, you get even more defense, and you get um, BB gauge. So it it can be useful. It's just there's more useful leader skills. So I doubt you'll ever see this guy as a leader. But you never know. You don't know what Goom is gonna throw your way. So um, we'll just have to wait and see. But Balgrand really grew on me like quick. Like when I. When he released in global and I finally did some research on him, I was like, man, I want that unit. When I pulled him, actually I didn't even pull him. I think he was a reward for, uh, there was a rare summon event in the gate. Do five summons, get one free. And I saw this guy sitting in my presence box. So definitely happy about that. All right. So uh, let's briefly talk about Mr. Uh, Shusui. The, uh, the boss of this region of Ishgria. So um, if you started questing, you've already seen him before. The big ugly red looking fool with the, I think he's holding like six or eight swords because he has like six, he has multiple arms. I know that much, he got a ton of arms. So uh, you'll probably end up seeing him, well you will end up seeing him early on in the quest mission. There's even a mission early in the uh, quest region where you uh, you battle against him it's one one battle against him so I, he's testing you there but um, he's not really that strong honestly um, he does do a fairly powerful attack um, and I know when it's coming but my team usually can survive it um, especially if Aaron mitigates it hurts it hurts like crazy I think it puts him pretty close to the red zone but um, nothing the squad can't handle. I noticed it the first time I was auto battling him. Um, he hit me up pretty good, but he didn't kill me, so nothing we really had to worry about. It was okay. So, uh, other than that one pretty powerful attack, you really don't have much else to worry about, alright? With me having, uh, Griel and Fever here, you don't really need a healer. 
Um, they both increase the drop rate of HCs, which is usually enough to go ahead and get everybody topped off enough to survive his next attack. Uh, don't have to, don't have to worry about status elements with Grill lead. So uh, we, we my squad usually takes care of this guy. I've auto battled this. I want to say not too many times because I've been doing other things in the game. I want to say roughly seven to eight times, and they have yet to lose. So I'm still confident this squad can definitely auto battle this guy, no problem. So uh, let's see what happens here. Um, I don't think this guy is the most experienced as far as quest is concerned. Um, 8,500. Multiply that by two. That's only 17,000. I believe Lucius gives more than uh, 8,500. Well, I have to take a look. But there he is, guys. War Demon Shushui. All right, so uh, that's him. Like I said, if you start questing in this region, you've already seen him. So uh, look at that. We can even poison him. I didn't even know that. <laughs> That's Balgram for you though. That poison is gonna hurt him too. That's 10% of your HP right there. So as you can see, not too strong. That's the move right there. Then when he do Fierce God stance, that means his, his little ultimate attack is coming up. Um, like I stated, it's, it hasn't been something that has killed my squad yet, but as you're gonna see, it's very, very strong. Definitely a powerful attack. But um, I think we'll survive it squad survived it every other time and I think he only does it once too um, before my squad just basically takes him out so here it comes ultimate attack so we got rid of Kukuri I ain't even gonna worry about reviving her I think we'll be alright without her this guy doesn't got much longer but yeah that's his only ultimate attack I guess he must have got a critical hit on Kukuri. I didn't really notice what happened, but he killed her. And she, dev she doesn't have the lowest HP out here, so don't know what happened, but I ain't going to too much worry about reviving her. I think we'll be all right. Uh, Aaron didn't get healed at all. Where's the HC love at, man? Give my boy some HCs. <laughs> So uh, when the level up campaign come around, uh, this guy is not the one you want to battle. Even though he is the newest quest boss, he's not the one you want to battle. Um, he doesn't offer the most experience. That title still goes to Lucius. All right. So another level up campaign comes around. Disregard this guy. Don't try to use this guy as your level up. Uh, we're gonna stick to Lucius. Lucius does give a little bit more as far as uh, XP is concerned. So you want to stick to that. Alright, otherwise we're getting down to the wire here on this guy. Um, like I said, nothing too difficult. Squad is just beating the tar out of him. HC drop rate, baby. Oh, that looks like another move there. Fierce God stance. So I don't know if that's another ultimate attack he's about to unleash. I think my squad is going to finish him off here though, so. Won't be able to see that one. Sorry, pal. And that is that. So there you have it, guys. Uh, War Demon Shushui, the boss of the Selgrad region here in Iskria. So uh, this is as far as quest mode can go for now. Of course, there will be more expansions later on down the line. But uh, going to be it for a while, folks. So just wanted to bring this one to you guys so you know what was what. What you can look forward to in the event that you haven't kicked this behind yet. This is what you can look forward to. Alright. So you can pull all kind of units out of Israel too. So uh I even got some unit guys slots filled because I never evolved any of the uh the glowy and the sparky. I never evolved them fools. Ever. So uh filled up my unit, got a little bit quested through the region too. But anyways, that's gonna wrap up this video guys. So if you wish to join the Facebook group, link down below in the description. Otherwise, thank you all for watching. Please continue to like, subscribe, favorite, share, comment, and everything else. And of course, your boy will be back at your screen with more Brave Frontier soon. Later, guys.